when you talk to the recruiter, they, they, they fast talk you, right? They'll tell you, hey, you get to choose your own load. Um, so what the dispatcher will do is he'll come up with three loads, which that's a lie. They don't come up with three loads. So he'll call you and say, hey, I got this load for you. Um, do you want to take it? If not, I'll go find you something else. He doesn't have loads set back to back. They have you choose like, okay, I want to go here. Let's go to like Tennessee or yeah, I can take that load to Texas. It's fine. It's not like that. If they call you, they say, hey, we got a load. Do you want it? If you say no, then they hang up. They call you back with another load. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. No shit. Right now you're Fredo. But, you know, with some sound advice and the proper introductions, who knows? I'll tell you one thing. You've got the right product. Aaron Jeffrey in the building. So, uh, I guess we're just going to get right into it. J, what is, what is it? J, JDM? JDM. So, are, are you are you driving for them now, or, or what's the deal? Yes. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I'm driving for them now. This is my third week driving for them. Okay, so you 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 you've been there for three weeks. You sent me, I guess that's one of your settlements. That was so the way they pay out the settlement. So your first week, you pretty much you just drive, then you get paid the. But um, the way the pay period works, I had to wait two weeks to get that settlement. So you had to wait two weeks for a settlement that paid out for a week. Yeah. And in that settlement, it looks as though three thousand. I'm I'm seeing, but after everything after everything was said and done, you was left with a negative two hundred. Yes, sir. So two weeks. All right, so let me get this straight. Let me let me back up a little bit. You you're leasing with JDM, right? Where where are they out of? They're out of uh Illinois. All right, so another another Black Ops Illinois company. You would J they got the snipers out here. <laughs> with, with JDM. Uh I what what was it? What was the allure of you going over there with them in the first place? Um, just to um, start off as a, a owner op, you know, just trying to see that side of the of the ball game. I was driving as a company driver, didn't figure I was making as much. Um, so I was like, you know, I give it a shot, see what see what the, the hype is all about. So you know, I looked at a bunch of companies. I was like, okay, they they close, they talking good. Eighty percent can't really be too mad about that. So I came over and joined, and I, I'm regretting every every decision of it. All right, so so they pretty much talked you in. Uh, your company driver thought you could make a little bit more money to to see what the the lease side is. Um, but again, you you did some lows for them. Uh, looks like you did uh, a good number of loads, but out of out of everything that was that was. Uh, that was paid out to the truck. Again, a lot of a lot was taken out from you, and it only left you with a, a negative two hundred. A negative what now? Two two what? It's two o nine. Negative two o nine for your very first settlement. Yep. Wow. Now, I mean, you know, guys, this is, you know, he, this is his assessment from his uh, experience. Of course, it's going to be different with everybody else. But, uh, wow. I mean, what was, what was all, what was all that was taken? I mean, I, I noticed that it was like that, that the truck made a little over $3,000. But I, I didn't look at it close enough to see what was all the deductions. So break everything down as far as the deductions. Like what what all they took that left a negative 
two hundred and nine dollars. That means you still owe them, so, right? Right, right. I still owe them. So you first you got occupational insurance, then you got toll pay, get the stickers. They charge you for the trip packs to send the trip packs in. Your escrow is a hundred dollars. The EOD truck and trailer. Those are all my deductions. So truck, how much is the truck? How much? How much money they take out for the truck and trailer? Twelve hundred. Truck and trailer, twelve hundred all together. Yes. Okay. So. Which you you will see it's not it's not too bad for the truck and trailer, but it's all the extra expenses they put on with it. I mean, like I said, I I you know I I got a chance to glance at it and I I noticed that yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. I, <laughs> I noticed it was a. I mean, it was a lot. It was a little bit here, a little bit there, nitpick here, nitpick there, uh, you know, bit bit portion here, bit portion there. Uh, as far as the, do you do you get any type of fuel discounts? Like, do they give you, any, or you had to pay full fare for the fuel? I mean, that's still uh, no. That fuel comes out my paycheck. Every little fuel DEF, you paying the full cost. Coming out your paycheck. Full cost for the There's fuel? There's no fuel discount. There's no fuel charge. You get nothing, no kickback from the fuel. It's all on you. Fuck. And they will not allow you to use a, um, like your own personal, like say if you got a company fuel card, uh -huh. you can't use it. You have to use their, their fleet card. Wow. So again, Aaron, this is your very first settlement that you had to at least wait two weeks for. Yeah. And you're you're into your third week with the company as we speak. Did you did you get did did you get another yeah. settlement since then or or you just you're I, working on the new settlement now? I won't see that settlement. So I won't see the settlement from last week until next week. So, so they're running a week behind. So I won't see that until next week. Okay, but are you seeing anything this week? No, that was it. That's that's what they sent me. Oh, that was your oh, that was your settlement yes. for this week. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> so this is your very that, this, this your very first settlement this week. Yes. Yes. Wow. Now I know some and companies out of are three guys, I, mine was the Mine was the lowest out of three guys. Out of three? So, like, out of three yeah. people that started at the same time as you? Yep. We were all in the uh, organization together. We kept in touch. Mm -hmm. And the guy was telling me, he was like, go back, look at your pay stub, something that, something's not right. He was like, man, I, I, that's, that's not cool. I'm taking their truck back. So I'm like, wait a minute. Let me go back and check mine. And sure enough, mine is in the red. I was negative $200. The other guy, he was about the same, about, he was about negative 230. So you got three guys sitting out here. They had to wait almost three weeks to, you know, see a settlement, and we got nothing. <laughs> As, instead of us gaining the profit, we took a loss. <laughs> a major loss, <Yeah>. bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. <A> negative <laughs> right. loss. Like. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, man. So when yeah. you did did you inspect did you inspect this when you was when you was talking to the um when you was talking to the recruiter? Did 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 you inspect to be at a loss yep. when you came in? No, no, I did not. And we like before we even signed the contract and went over it that we was nitpicking the contract up. Um, we were going through it and some stuff was off. So we telling the guy like, "Yo, no, something's wrong. It's mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. You you gotta fix this before we sign anything." <laughs> so when we initially got everything set in the set in the place, we're thinking, "Okay, everything's good. We can go and run the truck now." Everything wasn't good. And we didn't realize everything wasn't good until we got that first settlement. Jesus Christ. 
Christ, man. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's, 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 it's been one of those, one of those, don't do it, do not do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry to I'm I'm, I'm sorry to laugh. I, I'm I'm sorry to laugh, but it's it's crazy, man. This this yeah. don't make no sense. This I'm sorry. This this don't make no sense, man. I mean, for you guys, I mean, at least maybe maybe five six seven hundred dollars, you know, because you got to, you know, you. you 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 got to get your foot in the door. You got to get your, you got to get your foot in the door. You got to get um. I guess uh, you know you got to get good with the company and all like that. But Jesus, negative two hundred and nine dollars on your first, very first settlement. Now let me and you say all three of y'all three three yeah. like three yeah. like all yeah. three of y'all. I mean yeah. all all three of y'all that came in together from orientation did loads. Uh, is this uh is is this cent per mile or is this um is this cent per mile or is this percentage? It's percentage. So, so we all get paid. 80% so, of the load. So it's 80% of the load. Do you guys yes. do you guys get to choose your own loads over there? So when you talk to the recruiter, they 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 fast talk you, right? They'll mm -hmm. tell you, hey, you get to choose your own load. Um so what the dispatcher will do is he'll come up with three loads, which that's a lie. They don't come up with three loads. So he'll call you and say, Hey, I got this load for you. Um, do you want to take it? If not, I'll go find you something else. He doesn't have loads set back to back. They have you choose like, okay, I want to go here. Let's go to like Tennessee or yeah, I can take that load to Texas. It's fine. It's not like that. If they call you, they say, Hey, we got a load. Do you want it? If you say no, then they hang up. They call you back with another load. Mm. How long, how long is the, so let's say they come up. So you say they come up with three, or they'll come up. They'll call you up and be like, "Hey, we got a load for you. Do you want this load?" Yada yada yada. You say yes or no. Let's just say you say no on the deal. Nah, I don't want it. Give me something else. Do you? Do they? Do, you know, if you turn down, say like that load too. Do they? Do they force you to? Do Do they kind of like force you to wait? Like if you don't choose the lows that they get you, do you do they force you to wait, or can you be like, look, um, I want to go towards Missouri, I want to go towards Texas, I want to go towards California. Do they look okay, for yeah, lows they, for something? They, do they look for lows in in a, in in account of which way you want to go? Yes, they will do that. Okay, okay, that's. I guess that's a good thing. But again, if you, <laughs> but again, if you turn, if you turn down a load, and let's say they kind of like, kind of like feel some kind of way about that, would they, would they force you to, would they force you to wait, like some companies? Um, by far, I haven't been forced to wait. The the guy just say, okay, he hurry up and hang up. Then he'll be, you know, he'll call me back within minutes to, with another load. Well, Aaron, the, I mean, this, I mean, uh, you know, you're a new guy. You know, you're a new guy. Right. And this is just, just your first uh, settlement. I mean, I mean, may, uh, I, I wouldn't, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I guess I would feel some kind of way myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I think right. I would, especially the first settlement. <laughs> I, I mean, at least like give first, like, at least put some money in my pocket. I mean, at least put some right. money in my pocket, like five, five hundred, six hundred. They they ain't put right. no money in your pocket. So now you now, I mean, bro, you. 
I mean, I hate to say this, but and like I said, again, let's just realize that this is your first settlement, right? So, right. Uh, bro, um, jeez, what I want to say, you, you basically drove for free. For free. Yeah. <laughs> first, yeah. first week. Did they, did they tell you that in the. <laughs> Did they tell you that in the in the orientation? Like, hey, bro, you know, I just want to let you know that the first week you're going to be driving for free. I'm just saying. I mean, no, at they least ain't say nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they so they, they ain't, say nothing like that. So they ain't offered no nobody from payroll or anything like that offered you guys any type of any type of conversation considering the fact that y'all wasn't going to get a paycheck. Like, I mean, I drove for free for a week. I mean, this is Christmas time now. I mean, I, let's, let's set aside for all your bills. You know what I'm saying? Let's just set that aside. But this is Christmas time. Like this, the, the first week before Christmas, you don't get no money. The next time you get paid will be after Christmas. Like, Bro, you can't even go home and enjoy Christmas because of the fact that you didn't get paid the first week before Christmas. So say like, you know, you got kids or something like that. Like, yeah, um, the plan was to come home. <laughs> but being that I right, didn't get paid, <laughs> being that I didn't get paid kind of derailed all of that. So... I mean, bro. So, I, so you, so you still. I mean, well, what's the, the, you know, not to not to speculate or put anything in, you know, in your mouth. So, what's what's the plan now? What's 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 the next step? Is, is the next step to to see what is gonna see what is gonna take for you to start seeing some money? Because, I mean, that's. I mean, the whole point of. So I want to at least to, to at least wait. So I like, like you said, it was, it's my first settlement. So I wanted to see it, see at least, you know, after the uh, escrow and stuff is all paid up. So it takes about ten weeks to pay your escrow up. So I say by the end of February, I have a general idea to say, hey, yeah, I'm gonna stay here, or like, no, nah, I need to abort the mission. Uh, ouch, bro! You, 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 you gonna. Well, again, this is your first paycheck or your first settlement. Right. You know, we, we say it different in trucking. <laughs> instead of gas, it's, <laughs> instead of gas is fuel. Instead of a paycheck right. is settlement. <laughs> so. Right, right. I, Aaron, <laughs> hey, man, I, I, I do appreciate you coming on and, uh, and, and you know, sharing your testimony. Um. But being again, like I said, you know, being that you're a new guy, you know, being that you're a new driver with the company and this is your very first settlement. I mean, do you honestly feel that you can that that you give a that you can give a good assessment of the company being that you only been with them for like a couple of weeks? I mean, overall, for guys who's like looking to start start off. Yes. A lot. Like later down the line, or like guys who's already been in it or been on the owner operator side, more than likely no. My information for them would probably be useless. Gotcha. But for fresh guys, that's like that's that's scrolling online, doing what I did, watching all these YouTube videos, trying to figure out what's the best company. You are gonna take a hit coming here. You just gotta be prepared for the punch. You are gonna take a hit. Mm. Well, that's what's up, man. If, you, if your stuff is not. In, yeah, your stuff not in order. Just be prepared. That that's what's up, man. And that and you know, it's just you know a lot of, you know, a lot of these drivers. You know, they a lot of these drivers just be bragging. You you can't, you 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 can't take what they say with a with with a cup of water, bro. Like they they come on right. here, they 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 brag, they they boast, they 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 blotter. You know what I'm saying? Blotter is that a word? I'm going to use it. Uh, <laughs> they blotter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, they be on TikTok over here, over here saying, 
you know, this, that, and the third, you know. But for a person like you to to actually do your research, which, you know, that's that's my thing over here, is always to do your research. But hell, even 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 the best, even the best research, you can still get with a, you know, get with a bad company. Not not to say that JD that JDM is a bad company, but to say that every everything, you know, everything that you did, you called the recruiter, you talked to the recruiter, the recruiter gave you, you know, every every good thing, but the only way you're going to actually find out about a company, really, is when you get there and actually put in the time. And then you can, then you can assessly say, hey, this, is, this isn't a good company. But you, you could just come in and say, well, what I went through as far as getting on with the company, then, you know, you, you, can, you can give you a testimony on that. So... Aaron, man, I do appreciate you coming on, chopping it up with me, sharing your testimony. Hopefully, um, <laughs> hopefully it gets better. <laughs> yeah, hopefully people people watch this one and actually listen to what I'm saying. Because if you go on Google or anything and try to look up reviews on this company, you will not find them. It's in the contract. You will not find them. They called, when you called me earlier and I said, oh, give me a minute, they're trying to smooth things over. They were they were asking me to take down my review off of Google. Oh, oh we can't have that up there. It's, what? It's, it's that. That's why you can't find anything. Because I watched your podcast before when you called JDM and you had looked on the computer and you were going through and you're like, well, I'm not seeing any bad reviews. It's a reason for that. You won't see any YouTube videos, none of that. They will call you and ask you to take that stuff down. And they're more sure willing to pay you to take it down so people can come aboard their company. You you they know what? I, come in and you know what? I, I did have a couple of I did have a couple of companies like literally call me up and be like, hey, we we like what you're doing, yada yada yada. But uh is it okay that you take that video down and I'll I'll come on and and talk with you. I'm like, nah, you know, is 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 I, I don't want no I don't want no wolf tickets when it comes to trying to help drivers find legitimate companies to to drive for. And if if you just gonna give me what I'm what I want to know, you know, just be oh yeah, this that and the third without giving me the real, it 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 don't work. It it don't work for me. Like I'd rather have you to be the I mean I'd rather have you to be the fucking asshole, you know. They that tells me right off the rip who, who I'm about to who I'm about to mess with and who I'm about to get into. That's why again, right. you gotta you know people gotta understand the world we live in, including myself. You know, every, you know I was asked today. I had my body camera on, and I was asked today. Oh, well, I ain't never seen a civilian with a body camera on. Why, why do you have a body camera on? And just like I told him, I said, it's the world we live in now. Everybody has a camera. I mean, not, you could see mine, but everybody else, if, if you got a phone, you got a camera. That's, right. that's what it is. I mean, they push, they, you know, when they, when they be selling the cell phones, they they don't talk about the the service. They don't talk about how good the internet is. They don't talk about they don't talk about how crisp and clear the sound is. You know that that was long time ago. You know it, 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 we got the best internet service and we got the crisp clear sound and and the best signals. You know five G. They they don't they five G is just. It's just a catchphrase. They talk about the camera. Right. That's it. The camera. Now, now you can, you got, now you got, you could take pictures and erase it. Now you could take, you, you could do full blown movies with a phone. You know, 
You, you don't even need to yeah. go in. You don't need to buy no, no, no $2,000, $3,000 cr- camera equipment like you need to back in the day. Hell, you got the iPhone 14 Pro with the with the cinematic view. You know, every every they yep. they don't talk about that. They talk about the camera. So as long if if you got a phone and and you connected to social media, i.e. TikTok, because that's what everybody run into now. You uh, and you got a camera. It is what it is. So, you know, for them to ask me like, oh, well, I never, you know, I I, I don't mind them asking. It's, I don't, if you ask me why, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, yada, yada, yada. It's the person that, that kind of like looks at you weird and be like, huh, he got a camera on. Well, y- yeah, I do. Well, why do you have a camera on? Uh, th- I mean, if you really right, must so know, <laughs> right, if you really must know, I mean, you know, like I said, again, it's the, it's, it's the times that we live in. So you got to be careful on what you say, how you say it, what you do and how you move. Because once, once you, you, you do something stupid, it's been proven time and time again you 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 do something stupid or you put something stupid on the internet and if you work for a company it's been proven that you're going to get terminated from that company no matter what you could have worked for that company for 10 15 20 years you do something stupid that company going to look at eventually the company going to come across the video and they're going to be like no we can't no we can't have a person like you on here yeah once they got your phone number once they got your phone number, they got access to everything. I had a manager. He, he had asked me, he's like, hey, um, I liked your TikTok. And I just looked at it. I said, man, what you, what you doing on my TikTok? Like, how, you, how did you find me? He was like, well, I was scrolling through on my own personal time. And then you popped up as one of the people I may know. Mm-hmm. Just because I got your number saved in my phone. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah, we got to do something about that. Right. It's funny. <laughs> It's funny. That's that's how they used to do it on 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 Facebook. Um, I see Facebook don't do it no more. But at one point, like if I got your number, like your real number, not your you know not your Google number or text number or anything like that. If I got your real number, yeah. Facebook would be like, oh okay, well here's somebody you may know from your contact. And I'll be like, oh, okay, you know, and I, 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 you know, send a friend's request, and they'll be like, who are you? Hey, I'm Lockout. Oh, that's your government name? Oh, yeah, you know what? I might not want to do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, Facebook made a whole bunch of people, such as myself, we had to change, we had to put our full government names on our shit. That's why I don't give out my Facebook no more. But um, but yeah, man. I you know it, it it is it is what it is now. So, but again, man, thank you very much. I hey, I do appreciate you coming on, man. Definitely. Uh, let me let me know. You you say you're going to give it to February, so let's um, let's let's get back at each other. You know, in February and see you know see if the if the settlements is a lot better than what it was today. Yes, sir. All right, bro. I'll holler at you later. Have a good holiday and stay safe, man. Now if you're asking, cause I do.